Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get started. In this video you will see in which direction the price of Ethereum has moved recently. Additionally, you will find out what the technical indicators EMA, RSI and MACD are predicting about its price and future movements. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the Ethereum hourly time frame, the price moved down with around 2.5% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 1938. However, the volume wasn't especially high, so this move wasn't very strong. Looking at the hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is below the hourly ribbon, which is generally bearish and the ribbon could play as a resistance, so it is to watch if the price will bounce off it or break it. The current price to watch is around 1971. The ribbon is relatively spread out so the resistance should be considered. Moving to the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 42, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Moving to the hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently strong and it could be expected the price to go further to the downside. Looking at the three hourly exponential moving averages, the price at the moment is, is situated below the three hourly ribbon, which is usually bearish and the ribbon can act as a resistance, so you should keep an eye on if the price will break it or bounce of it. The current price to watch is around 1995. Nevertheless, a trend change can be expected owing to the ribbon being compressed, which means that the trend is currently not very strong. Looking at the three hourly relative strength index, the current three hourly RSI is at 41, so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. Moving to the three hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently indecisive so consolidation for some time or shifting the momentum could be expected and it is to wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time.